what does that platform enable us to do? It enables us to discover each other. So it enables the drivers to discover passengers and passengers mm. to discover mm. uh, drivers. And it enables them to communicate and agree on a transaction. Uh, and then it enables them to settle the payment mm. between them. So all of that today we can do with blockchain and with the DAP protocol. Mm. So Noam, I mean, uh, first of all, like before we go into the project, you know, we're, we're like very, we're, we're people and we want to know like, uh, for every project, we find it most important who is really leading the project, you know? So can you really tell us about yourself and like your whole history with everything? Sure. I, I started my career as a computer developer. I, I'm a very technical guy and I studied computer science. Um, I started working as a programmer, but uh, quickly I re realized that um, it's my job to build businesses and start new companies. And, uh -huh. and I was kind of bored with just sitting and, and developing. Um, so that's what I did. I, I started building uh, companies and uh, 2011 was kind of when I pretty much retired and started being an investor more than an entrepreneur. Uh, and that's when I found um, blockchain and Bitcoin. Mm. So. I'm, I mean, I'm with Bitcoin since 2011, and then I kept following everything that's going on. And there was Mastercoin, and there was Ethereum, and I started understanding really what can be done with this mm. technology that I didn't understand before. Um, and that's when I became a full, a full crypto guy. The first um, time that I ever thought of doing something, uh, really uh, uh, create something in blockchain was early last year, early 2017. And uh, since then, I'm a full-time crypto guy. Okay, DAV Network Project, your DAV project. Yo, it's a, it's like a really big scaling. Like it's it's so big. It's like future tech. It's it's not really like the common blockchain products that are out there nowadays. You know, it like the, that goes about more about encryption or like scalable blockchain. You know, it's a, it's not really that. It's about like moving drones around and like 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 cars is driving by themselves it's more like google future tech you know like how did how did you put all this like together when i started dev i i noticed that the, the biggest opportunity at that time which is last year is not to just build an, another blockchain uh, blockchains are a very competitive area now and i believe they're going to become a commodity um, and I believe that the get, the prices that you pay for blockchain are going to just keep going down and down, uh, especially now with things like EOS and delegated proof of stake, the prices are just going to come very much down. I think, you know, the, the top 20 coins you're going to see today and the top 20 coins you're going to see in two or three years are going to be a completely different list. That I can promise you. And you can write it down and, and we'll talk in two years. Okay. So where, where I saw an opportunity mm. is to actually create real life usage mm. and, and to create transactions and commerce. Um, and the biggest network that I saw, we crypto guys, we like to decentralize networks, to take mm. something that are built around mediators and to decentralize them. Mm. And the biggest networks that are centralized now are transportation networks. Mm. Take for example, a transportation network like uh, Uber or like Grab uh, for ride hailing. Uh, what does that platform enable us to do? It enables us to discover each other. So it enables the drivers to discover passengers and passengers mm. to discover mm. uh, drivers. And it enables them to communicate and agree on a transaction. Uh, and then it enables them to settle the payment mm. between them. So all of that today we can do with blockchain and with the DAP protocol. And if you look at other transportation networks in logistics and in couriers, uh, if I need someone to drop a letter off, if mm. I need um, later on a vehicle to pick me up, which is completely autonomous or a drone to pick up the package, all of those transportation scenarios are discovering each other and uh, agreeing on a transaction to take something from point A to point B and then paying for that. And the DAP protocol enables all of that, plus some other things like selling data uh, that is resulted from those uh, transactions and doing some, um, we leave room for companies in the field of AI to improve the routes and the networks. So uh, definitely um, from speaking to these companies in the field of transportation, from knowing that that protocol enables them to connect to each other so well, um, I have no doubt that tr transportation networks are the first to, be, uh, to need to be decentralized. 
the, the thing to enable that I want to see the most is to enable the long tail of companies in mm -hmm. transportation. Because right now you have Uber, you have that. Think about this scenario. We have a drone that's compatible with the DAP protocol. Mm -hmm. And think about a charging station that's compatible with the DAP protocol. Now, the drone can pay for its charging on the charging station, but they have never agreed on a deal between them. These companies have never exchanged even one email or one contract, mm -hmm. but now they can work together across the world. So enabling that and enabling this times a thousand is the magnitude that, this, that we want to reach. So um, I think once you understand the importance of a common protocol for all these companies, you understand that this can potentially grow really, really quickly, but we're going to take it step by step. We're going to equip drivers and couriers with wallets and incentivize passengers, incentivize deliveries. Start Everything in blockchain starts from the bottom up. It doesn't start from the top down. This is what we uh, intend to do and already started doing. Okay, that's cool. Being very realistic, we love this future tech that DAV has to give to us, but also, you know, profiting from investment is very important uh, from an investor perspective, right? So can you kind of guide, uh, like, what would be your pitch, you know, like saying this could be good, you know, like for the viewers out there in Korea? Well, I think um, you need to understand there is a very uh, limited uh, amount of things that I, as, as the project's founder, can mm -hmm. say about profiting or a oh, value yeah, of course, of, of course. you know we are a swiss foundation so we are uh, abiding by swiss uh, law which is very very strict for, for non-profit foundation like us and for utility tokens like the dev token the only thing that i can um, guarantee is that um, this is one of the best teams in crypto and this is one of the most uh, genuine projects and uh, that everybody is here to do the work and, and you see things that you don't see in other projects. For example, the daily dev uh, on YouTube where every one of the team talks about what they're doing every day, this kind of level of transparency you don't see in other projects. And you mentioned scam coins and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think if those uh, coins would uh, made themselves so transparent uh, in, at that level, then people would be able to actually see um, what's going on and that there's not much work being done there. So uh, the only thing I can say in, in response to what you're saying is, to what you're asking, is that DAV uh, is one of the high standard uh, projects um, of this year. and. Um, and our intentions are very, very genuine to build something uh, very, very big. Uh, also, something to consider is that we already have uh, uh, the, the protocol out there. It's open source, it's public, it's available. The network was already launched last week on the Ethereum's main net. So this is really not uh, a white paper uh, doing an ICO. This is, uh, we have companies in the Alliance. We are, we are at, at a very, very progress, uh, progressed uh, state and uh, we are just going to keep going faster and faster now that's a very very uh, well said answer <laughs> that's very good dav one of the biggest selling points about the project is that you guys have like this monster advisor team like nasa ibm google ethereum all these like crazy people on board can you kind of tell us uh, like how you got such people on board and to believe in your project well, I was very fortunate, I think, um, and we were very fortunate because the, 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 the moment I speak to someone, if I can just get through the door and tell them what we're doing, um, most people are just filled with um, just excitement about the potential here and um, an excitement to do something that can be so big and to have their say and their impact on something so big. So I think everyone on the team, on the core team, and every one of our advisors are there for that reason, because they see this project as a way for them to, to contribute to something really uh, world-changing. Okay, so next week, uh, the, the, I, the, the DAV token sale will be beginning on Monday. I'll make sure to note that with our viewers again. Is there any last thing? That was a great interview. Anything, any, any last word you would like to have, uh, you'd like to give to our Korean viewers watching at the moment? 
Um, yeah, I, I just uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to to have me on your channel. Uh, I appreciate that, and uh, we are very excited about uh, welcoming every uh, Korean community member into the DAB community. Um, we look forward to having you all on board. All right, Noam, thank you for your time. Uh, that's going to be you. the end of our interview. And later, when we have some progressions regarding uh, the DAB project, uh, we'll see you again here soon. Okay? Perfect. Looking okay. forward to it. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>